what we're going to do now is have a look at this area here along there which is the timeline uh, and we need to kind of know how that works so here you can see that we've got a lot of numbers down here these all relate to which frame number you're currently on if I click and drag this is the playhead and it tells me exactly what frame number I'm on you can see that that frame number is reflected here so if I wanted to go to frame 10 I could type that in there and it would take me to frame 10 um, you've got this chap here he's called the slider or the range slider to give it his proper name and what that does is show what frames you should be looking at so in this case um, here I can see that my scene has got 200 frames in total but I'm only viewing frames 1 to 120 and I can change that by clicking and dragging on one of the little squares here to make the range that I'm viewing larger or smaller or I could type in the numbers either side the other thing that we need to know is that we've got these little play buttons over here so that will play forwards that will play backwards this one here will move you to the next keyframe and we'll discuss keyframes slightly later this one moves you to the previous keyframe this one here moves you just onto the next frame and this one moves you to the end or this one on the other side will move you to the beginning 